this week's Wellbeing Wednesday, our last Wednesday in May, Mental Health Awareness Month, I want to talk about stress. We know that stress is something that exists when the demands exceed the resources that we have. It doesn't mean that someone is weak or someone is lazy or someone can't handle it. We think about the same thing as we talk about with the stress fracture where you just put so much on it and something can bend for so long and eventually it can break. So with stress, what also happens is that many of us are existing under stress for such a long period of time that we don't even realize that we're even there. It's like that simmering kettle and how easy it is to go from simmering to boiling versus if it really turned the burner off and got it back to that point where it was a cool temperature. For many of us, we've become acclimated to stress. Just like when you walk into that smoky bar and you would get hit with that wave of smoke, but a few minutes later you would acclimate and desensitize and be used to it. It's the same thing that happens with stress when we're in this society of go, go, go all the time. So one of the first key pieces is even just to take that quick moment and do a check-in with ourselves. How stressed am I? Where am I at? We know that when we're under stress, we tend to react versus respond. Additionally, if we want some quick tips and strategies for active coping when we're dealing with our stress, one, talking to others is a really important key piece. Just having the opportunity to share with someone, to feel like you're not alone, to know that someone else is going through what you're going through instead of keeping it in and then having that explosion or that implosion. Having positive distracting activities. Schedule something in your day to look forward to. Know that when it's gonna be a really busy day, what can I know I'm gonna look forward to at the end of the day? It's not just the, oh, well maybe, and the, the wants versus the needs. It's so important to be able to have that opportunity to have something pleasant to do, to keep those activities. We know that creativity and play actually help us to be even more effective when we're at work and more productive. Making sure that we are taking that time to rest for healthy meals, not just grabbing those quick snacks, but something that we can have also that normal schedule, that regularity, that consistency, going to bed at the same time and waking up at the same time each day, eating at the same times. So that actually helps our waistline as well as our ability to de-stress and to have some of that consistency through our lives right now when it feels like there are so many other things that are out of control. And that's why it's really important to pick things that we can practically focus on. What is something that even when it feels like there are a million things are going on that you are able to do and to accomplish and to celebrate the small wins along the way? If I tell you to build a house, it may feel overwhelming. But if we say, okay, I got the foundation laid today, at least that's one thing that I know that I did that I can cross off that to-do list. And as you're making those lists and there are a million things that are being added, write them down and cross them off so that at that point in time you can say, I really did accomplish something throughout the day. Take a few minutes for relaxation, whether it's deep breathing mindfulness, even doing a grounding exercise or progressive muscle relaxation. And we know that whether it is full exercise, even just walking, moving around, taking those breaks, schedule that meeting for 25 minutes instead of 30 minutes to have that moment, whether it's to use the restroom to catch up on emails or even just to give your mind that moment to decompress. And then of course journaling is such an important strategy that we can implement to be able to just dump everything that's in our mind, get that on that paper, and to be able to put that away for the day. Be well.